All right, welcome back. Well, if you or someone out there that you know is flying this holiday season, you may want to listen up here. NBC6 response Sasha Jones is here with a word of caution that may make the difference between you catching your flight or being bumped. We found out that thousands of paying passengers have been denied their confirmed flights this year. We aren't talking about people who are voluntarily giving up their seats. We are talking about people with a boarding pass being told they can't get on the plane. Tonight, we asked the airlines why, and we arm you with a few easy ways to protect yourself. Oh my God. April 2017, Dr. David Dow is forcibly removed from his flight from Chicago to Louisville. Dow has a paid seat, but United yanks him off the plane to make room for a crew member. Look at what you did oh. After this episode stirred the flying public, many U.S. airlines changed their policies. The last thing that we want to do is deny a customer uh, their flight. That was Southwest CEO Gary Kelly on CNBC. The company's made the decision that we'll cease to overbook uh, going forward. Right after the Dow incident, the number of airline passengers involuntarily taken off a flight fell more than 65 percent. But our analysis found that bumping never actually stopped. And recently, it surged. Look at these federal numbers that cover the first six months of 2019. During that time, the airlines bumped more than 13,000 paying passengers. That's more than all of 2018. We asked why the jump. American Airlines, which bumped the most passengers, more than 8,000, pointed to two problems. A labor dispute that disrupted its schedule and a shortage of planes due to the Boeing Max being grounded. A new system on the plane contributed to two fatal crashes. Southwest, which bumped more than 2,500 passengers this year, blamed various operational challenges, including the Boeing Max. Those reasons seem to conflict with both airlines' websites, where they say passengers on Max flights will be proactively notified and automatically accommodated. However, the data suggests people are being blindsided at the gate and denied their seats. We don't buy the airline's argument that the increased number of involuntary denied boardings is because of the Boeing Max situation. Andrew Applebaum is an attorney with FlyerRights.org. He suspects the airlines haven't fully reduced ticket sales to match their smaller fleets. The airline's motivation is pure profit. They're able to sell more tickets, and if a passenger has to be bumped, uh, the passenger's entitled to a small amount of compensation, and that's worth it to the airlines. Southwest told us its team strives for zero bumping each day. American said it is bumping fewer passengers since the summer ended. In a statement, CEO Doug Parker said, we are taking decisive action to correct this, and he's excited about the prospects for 2020. The airline's exact formulas for who they bump is proprietary, but often there are clues in your ticket contract. Some airlines consider how much you pay when choosing who to bump. If you buy the cheapest economy ticket, you might be the first to go, so the airline can give your seat to someone else who paid a higher fare. And your check-in time can also make a difference. The last people to check in can be the first people bumped. So if you want to keep your seat, check in as early as possible. And if you are pulled from a flight, federal law says you are entitled to compensation. The maximum by law is $1,350 cash. How much you get depends on your ticket price and how long it takes the airlines to get you to your destination after they took you off your original flight. Now, if you volunteer to give up your seat before an airline decides to deny you, you may be able to negotiate what you get in airline vouchers and gift cards. Sasha Jones, NBC6 Response.